Hi, this is Jason. Today we're going to talk about having something to look forward to. I, uh, with my age, I grew up during, um, in the 90s in here in Oregon um, we had these DJs called uh, there in California their show was syndicated here it was Mark and Brian and um, they retired they were on the sh uh, they were on the air for 25 years and now uh, Mark does a podcast with his wife, Linda, and um, I still listen to him. But during those Mark and Brian days, they had a, um, in the summer, they would uh, start the summer off by jumping into celebrities' pools. And... Um, Anyways, one of those celebrities was um, John Travolta, and Mark tells a story. It's really good. I've heard the story a, a lot, but anyways, um, he's he's like John. Um, you guys are always. Ha it seems like your family's so happy and. Um, stuff like that. Anyways, he asks the questions, John, you're so happy. What makes you so happy? And Mark believes to this day that, um, even though he didn't feel at it at the time it was, but that it was a story, a, a practice of Scientology, which is his reply to Mark was, you always have to have something to look forward to. So when Mark went home, um, I don't know how how fast this was, but at the family dinners, they would go around the table and Mark would say, what's your John Tr Travolta? Meaning, what do you have to look forward to? Today, tomorrow, next week, next month. You always have to have Find something to look forward to in life. And it doesn't have to, it could be big or small, but uh, have something to look forward to, no matter what it is. And if you do that, I believe that you're gonna, you're gonna be happier, or I find to be happy. And I want, um, I get this story and the it I've implemented it. My family thinks I'm crazy, um, which I probably am. But always ask yourself what's your John Tra Travolta? What do you what are you looking forward to today, tomorrow, next week, next month? Um in your life to make you happy. So it could be as easy as making a lunch date with somebody that you haven't seen for a while. Um, going on a, another thing that Mark's really big on is having date night with your other half, whoever that is. Uh, so they say once a week. For me, that's hard. Um, my goal is we did do it for a while, for like a whole month, like every Thursday, just um, as we're taking our kids to a church function, we would spend time talking and catching up on our day. It doesn't have to cost money. Just spending time together without kids or distractions and communicate. Um, him and his wife's been married for 
uh, a long time, Mark and Linda have, and um, they're still married and they're still uh, in love with each other and happy and um, anyways, their secret is to communicate and I believe that's true. That's probably the number one thing that you should always do is communicate. That's really important when there's other people involved as far as like kids because your kids tend to, um, you know, get the other parents okay with that. And if you guys are not on the same page, they can build that against each other. So, oh, but mom said this or dad did this. And then they don't like what I have to say, so they run to mom and ask her, and they get a they get what they want or a lesser punishment. So there's always a good guy, bad guy situation. So communication is huge. And um, yeah, but anyways, he says having these date date nights. I would say at least every. I would say at least around two to two weeks if you can, but it doesn't have to revolve around spending money. It's just, uh, like I said, time together that's not distractions. So you can talk because eventually there might be a time in your life where you won't have kids anymore and you won't have a job and you don't want to look across the table from this other person, which is your your significant other, and forget why you lo why you married them. And um, you know you want you want to still be friends and lovers and um, have that same passion that you did back. Uh, in the good old days. <laughs> um, so anyways, this, um, wanted to speak about that, um, setting goals in life could be another thing that you could do. Um, you know, make them attainable. Don't make them, don't make the goal or whatever you're, whatever you want to achieve so hard that, um, you can't get it or you can't attain it, make them so that they're a challenge, but still something that you, you can get, um, check off and pat yourself on the back saying, well done. Um, I do that in my career. And in, in, and personally, set set goals. And um, I leave this thought with you.